Come on. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Come on. Three. Come on. Four. Come on. Ten. Five. Come on. Keep going. Come on. Two. Last one. Ah, oh, rack it. Shit. Yeah, baby. Good step. Good step. All right, so we are headed back to Elite FTS here in the metropolis of London, Ohio. And we're actually getting ready to drive by the old Elite FTS. It's coming up here on my left. I'll show you here once we get through this stop sign. Today we're meeting uh, one of my uh, best friends in the bodybuilding world, Ken Jackson. Ken and I have been friends for a long time. Ken is uh, an animal. So, and he's, I want to say he's four or five weeks out from his next show. So I'm sure he's gonna be ready to tear some stuff up and we're gonna do legs. So right here on the left hand side right here, this is the old Elite FTS. Here's their office building right here. It says for rent. And this warehouse right here, you see this big warehouse? That is where all those legendary workouts were done. Um, and here's the, so we're crossing our train tracks right now. So we would be in the middle of a workout and we would hear the trains going by. We would call that the game train. So, but anyway, so that's the old Elite FTS, and it, the, the new Elite FTS is right down the street here. It's about a mile down the road. One of these days, we're gonna stop at the M&M Diner right here, and we're gonna see what kind of food they have there, that little diner. Wow, they're busy. So, uh, here we are, headed to Elite FTS to train legs with Ken Jackson. Looking forward to it. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna be a pretty painful day. All right, here we are. There's Dave's gangster truck. Elite FTS. It's out here in the middle of nowhere, it's awesome. So we are headed in the gym to get some work in. All right guys, so like I promised, I have the man with me, Ken Jackson. Welcome back, Ken. This is one of the best dudes in the, in the world. I love this guy. We're getting ready to do legs. Ken is four weeks out from the pro show in Spain. Make sure you guys, make sure you guys support him. Um, Ken also has an awesome meal prep business. It's called Fit Foods RX. So if you go to the website, www.fitfoodsrx.com, make your uh, order. We ship FedEx, check it out. Now, I, uh, if you guys remember, when I was competing as a pro, I used to have Ken ship me all my food right to the hotel. So I never had to travel with food. I never really had to worry about it. And a lot of my friends use Ken too for uh, meal prep. So anyways, we're getting ready to hammer legs. We're probably not gonna talk a lot during the workout. We'll fill you in after the workout on the sets and reps and all that. So let's get to work, my man. Let's go, man. Sports Bomb, Elite FTS.
sat down and we chilled out for a half hour we got our senses back <laughs> that was uh brutal so thanks for watching um so let's talk about what we did the leg curls we did we just essentially warmed up our hams we got a lot of blood in there for the squat we didn't do anything to failure and then we went to that belt squat uh, the kind of the uniquely designed what'd you think of that belt squat it was crazy like really crazy um didn't feel any pain in my knees and back and felt it in all of my glute hamstring tie-ins and when those are done felt them my quads yeah we loaded that thing up pretty good too yeah. i mean that was some real heavy work my lower back if you guys remember thursday two days ago i did the real heavy barbell hyperextension so my lower back's a little sore but that didn't do anything to my no, lower back at all not at all quads were on fire now what you noticed is on the last set ken and i did you saw a really hard drop set so there was maybe i'm going to guess i'm going to guesstimate 20 to 25 reps in that last set literally all 20 to 25 reps were hard. So that's a lot of hard reps. I mean, if you think about it, you know, if you do a hard set, you might go to failure and then maybe do two forced reps. Think about like, we literally did like 20 reps like that. They were really hard reps. So at that point, um, our legs were on fire. Yeah. And then I we th went- I think I failed at three on the first drop. Maybe two. Yeah. It was two or three. Yeah. And then we just kept, was like, okay, well, we just keep going. Pull a little off, keep going. And then we went to the hack squat. And honestly, our legs were, I usually do five, six on that. Ken usually does five or six on a hack squat. It's a real heavy machine. But literally all it took was two plates and a quarter. And we were even doing low reps. 
and they were on fire. That six reps felt like 15 or 20 reps. Now, on those, we didn't quite go to failure. Um, you got to be smart. We didn't need to go to failure on those after doing that crazy, crazy drop set. So we took those a rep or two short of failure, and we were only doing sets of six. So we did a total of 24 reps there. We did four sets. But that was excruciating. Yeah. Um, very mis like if you did that, um, normally it wouldn't feel that bad, but doing them after that drop set was pretty brutal. And then we went over to the single leg extensions. The reason why we did those is for the rectus femoris. That's the top part of your quad, the high part in the middle. Um, looks really good on stage. So we knocked out, I think we did what, four sets of 10 there? Four sets, I, you, four sets of 10, I did four sets of 15, but then you had me do partials. Some part, do some yeah. partials in there. And then we went to the West Side Barbell hype, um, uh, inverted leg curl, I think we yep. call it. Um, fantastic machine. We did... First time using it, it is a fantastic machine. Awesome, awesome machine. We did four sets of like six reps there. And it's funny because you'll do the reps and you'll be like, oh, this isn't so bad. And then boom. Hit a wall. You just hit a wall and your hamstrings are like, that's it. And it's amazing the kind of pump you can get from just, just squeezing them the whole time, that tension. And if you yeah. guys haven't tried it, you should find a gym that has it and try it because it is amazing. Amazing machine. And then we finished off with a uh, little glute work. We did uh, the Smith machine here, man. That's another one where the thing feels like it weighs 200 pounds. But if you look at what we did. We stood on a box so we could really exaggerate that range of motion and really stretch the bottom of the glute. And then what we were doing is we would flex our glute to drive up the weight. So it wasn't drive with, it wasn't push through your heel and, and use your quad. It was more flex your butt. That one, I'm telling you, it doesn't look bad with no weight, but it's actually pretty tough when you do it last. And I think we did three sets there. Yeah. And that was it. That was it. That's a very, very tough uh, workout. But I'm um, so, so happy that Ken got to come back. We're going to hopefully be able to crank out some more. Uh, some more workouts here pretty soon. Ken's going to be competing in Spain in four weeks, so we want to wish him the best. Uh, and, and tell everybody where they can follow you out on Instagram as well. So Ken KBJ is my IG. Um, I'm on Facebook, Ken Jackson. Uh, my company, Fit Foods RX, and I have Jack's Fitness. You can all find me on all of those social media. And Fit Foods RX, again, I know we said at the beginning, it's a fantastic company. I've used them for meal prep many, many, many times, and I give those guys a, a double thumbs up. Awesome company. All right, well, hope you guys like this workout. If you, uh, if you can't do all the same machines that we got, that's okay. Just think and try to simulate as best you can. Give it a shot and let us know how you do. Thanks for watching. All right, so I couldn't think of a better post-workout meal today than have Amy's Donuts after that crazy leg workout. I have a maximum of one visit a month here. And I haven't been here since the Arnold Classic. It's been about a month, so I'm due. So we're gonna go in here and you're gonna see the best donut place in Columbus. And I'm gonna not go too crazy, but I might get two, maybe three donuts. want to see some amazing donuts check this out oh we got some new Easter donuts here how you doing good. this is my favorite place these are the over the rainbows I like but look we got some special chicken round egg hunt Easter donuts this is amazing okay here's what I got this was Easter inspired so I had to try the Easter stuff except for Elmo Jonathan likes Elmo we got the bunny rabbit, we got the chicken. So, Easter theme. Happy Easter, everybody. Hello. If you like that video, I know you're gonna love my app available on the Google Play Store for Android, iPhones, and the Apple Store. There's so much information on here, it's amazing. Training, workouts, hundreds of workouts, nutrition methodology questions, chemical enhancement, supplementation, client prep, and a Q&A button. Check it out.